controllers who, who stay in that position as a controller for about 10 years can go up to like 400K in earnings. But let's say this is what you will earn initially between 150 to 200K. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode. In today's video, I want to talk about the impact and the advantages of working in public accounting had had on my career. And I want to walk you through the journey of someone's career from graduating from college up until reaching the point of maturity in their career as a controller, let's say, and walk through step by step what are the options that they can make throughout their career to speed up the process of reaching that destination goal of working, let's say, as a controller or a chief accounting officer. So I'm gonna walk you through someone's career from the beginning till the uh, reaching maturity. So let's walk through it step by step. So the starting point is gonna most likely be you graduating college with a four-year degree in accounting. So let's say you're graduating from college and you have your four-year degree in accounting and you're looking to enter the workforce and most likely you have two options either to enter in public accounting or private industry and in public accounting most likely what you're going to be doing is you're going to enter as an auditor You could also uh, start in taxation, but most likely the path that will lead to a controller position is gonna be an audit. So you're gonna probably enter as an auditor versus in private, you'll most likely start as a junior accountant. Now, as far as salary, what you're most likely looking to uh, have as a starting salary in public is gonna be somewhere between uh, 40 to 60K depending on where you work. So if you work in a boutique firm, most likely um, that's gonna be a smaller firm. You're gonna be starting somewhere around mid 40s. If you work for a big four or regional form, uh, firm, most likely you're gonna be somewhere around 55 to 60K as a starting salary. With a junior accounting position, um, junior accountant and private, you're most likely uh, looking to start somewhere between 40 and 50K as a starting salary, which is not too bad. Now, as far as how long you would stay in this kind of role, so as an auditor, most people will stay somewhere between um, two to three years. So as an auditor, most likely you're looking to spend two to three years, and that's what will allow you to gather enough experience, uh, enough hours for your CPA exam, uh, and also um, you just get in your resume enough years. So you have two, two or three years in your resume as an auditor. I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay. As a junior accountant, you're also looking to spend somewhere between two to three years so that you can learn um, accounts receivable, account payable, uh, ERP system, month and close and all that good stuff. The next step in your career as an auditor is most likely that you exit public accounting and you go to a private industry after two to three years um, and you transition out to either a senior accountant role or an accounting manager. And most likely in this kind of role, you're gonna be earning somewhere between 70 to 100K. That's for if you are started out in public accounting. If you are in the private path, uh, then what you are looking to probably transition into after two to three years of being a junior accountant, most likely you're gonna transition into a senior accountant role and your earnings are gonna be somewhere between 60 to 70K which is not too bad either. Make sure to download our balance sheet metrics cheat sheet. It's 100% free and an amazing resource, especially if you're a financial professional, finance student, or into stock investing. I'll leave a link in the description, so go ahead and check it out. And again, it's 100% free. Now, at this point, what you're most likely going to do is spend two to three years, most likely, in this role here as a senior accountant or accounting manager before you transfer into your next role, which is most likely going to be, in this case, an assistant controller and in this capacity what you're looking to earn most likely is going to be between 100 to 130 K a year um, and then you are going to spend in this role somewhere around three years 
from there, after you spent three years here, you could then easily transition into a controller position with an average salary of somewhere around 150 to 200K. Of course, you can make a lot more than that if you stay working longer as a controller. Um, controllers who, who stay in that position as a controller for about 10 years can go up to like 400K in earnings. But let's say this is what you will earn initially between 150 to 200K. Now let's continue in the path that we had talked about before in private. So if you are a senior accountant here, um, you're most likely gonna spend in this role also somewhere between two to three years and then transition out from there from a senior accountant into a, an accounting manager role. And in there you can expect to earn anywhere between 80 to 100K in that role, and then you will probably need to spend somewhere around four years. So he can learn uh, how to close the books, uh, controls, SOX 404 and all that good stuff. You need to spend about four years in here so that you can transition from accounting manager to your next role, which is most likely gonna be assistant controller. And you probably already are noticing a pattern here is that the uh, person here on top who started out in public is most likely one step ahead of the person who started out in private industry because this person almost skipped one step here uh, because of the fact that they started out in public. This first uh, two to three years are almost like dog years. Uh, so in human years, those two to three years are most likely something like five to six years just because of the fact that you work late, you get exposure to so much um, as far as working and training in public accounting. So uh, this trajectory here will lead you to a faster um, arrival at your destination if you wanna be a controller at the end. Uh, in this case here, it's a slightly longer uh, trajectory, but also very achievable. So with assistant controller, what you're, lo what you're likely looking to earn here is somewhere also between 100 to 130K. And you'll probably spend three years before then you can transition into a controller role and you are likely to earn here similar, could be a little less just because a controller who comes out of a public accounting background uh, sometimes is more desirable uh, because they have the audit experience. Um, in here, you could be making just a little bit less, um, say some, somewhere between 140 to 180K which is not too bad. So to summarize, if, we, if we're looking at the advantages uh, that working in public accounting will have, what an impact will have in your career, you can summarize this by saying uh, that working in public versus working in private, in terms of number of years, you probably shaved somewhere around three years by following this path here. This will save you, if you add up the years, you'll find that this will take you on average about two to three years less uh, time to reach your controller position uh, versus this trajectory here. So the number of years uh, will be less. Also for CPA, when you work in public, you'll automatically get the hours um, necessary for working under a CPA so you can qualify for the des designation. If you work in private, you might struggle with this a little bit because you need to work under the supervision of CPA and if your, po if your boss at work is not a CPA, then you won't get the hours. Uh, while working in public accounting, most definitely whoever is gonna be supervising you is a CPA. So they'll give you the enough hours uh, to qualify for the CPA license. So you'll definitely get that. And then finally, I would say in terms of mix, uh, the advantage of working in public is that you'll have that mix, right? That's magical mix that you put in your resume and you say you worked in public and in private. And I can say that because I did work in, uh, in public and private, and I can see the impact of that when I go apply for any kind of position. Uh, it, I'm, it's much more better for me when I sh show that I have public and private experience. So that mix um, is, is a lot better. Um, and so public will provide you with all of these advantages. Um, however, I'll say that if public accounting is not available to you, if you can't find a job in public, this path is okay. 
Uh, I'm just saying that public accounting is better as a starting point in your career or at some point. So you may have started in pr private industry, but maybe you want to transition out a little bit into public so you can get some of that public exposure and working in audit and then transition back into uh, private industry. So I hope this is making sense and I hope that you benefited from watching this video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.